Welcome very much. I thank God because of this particular hour. Uh, today I want to talk about the power of the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to let you know that there is no name that has power like the name of Jesus Christ. And in the few minutes that I'm going to take, I'm going to show you why it is important to recognize the name of Jesus Christ. Why it is important, even when you are praying, why it is important to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you because of joining me. Whatever you are joining me, feel much welcome. And I know that God is going to bless us. I want you to go with me uh, to the book of John. We are reading from the book of John chapter 14. And we shall, uh, we shall read from uh, verse 13 and verse 14. John, uh, John 14, 13 up to 14. And whatever you ask in my name, this is Jesus who is saying these words. And whatever you ask in my name, and I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Again, we can also read from chapter 16, verse 23. That is John, chapter 16, verse 23. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. I want you to know that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. And that is why when you read in the Bible, greater works were done through the name of Jesus Christ. Because when we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, it is that we are submitting to his will. It is that we are praying in his authority. And when we pray in authority of Jesus Christ, God the Father acts on our prayers because we are going to him through his son. And therefore it is important to understand that there is this power in the name of Jesus Christ. When you read the Bible, the disciples, they were able to heal many people through this name of Jesus Christ. Because this is not like any other name. And you cannot actually be able to read the Father without recognizing His Son. That is what the Bible says. Actually, if you read from John, that is uh, the, the, the chapter 14 there. Uh, yeah, if you read from chapter, uh, yeah, chapter 10 there, for chapter 14, verse 10, uh, God was saying, uh, Jesus was saying, do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in, uh, the Father in me? The word that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. And therefore, it is important to know that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever you are praying, you have to recognize that there is nothing you can be able to do without Jesus. And that is why it is important to recognize him. Whatever you do, you tell, you tell God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I believe that this is possible. You could be facing a mountain, but when you trust in God through his son, that mountain can get out of your way. You could be facing a battle, but when you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, when you believe in his son, when you pray in the name of his son, and you believe that in your word, not just the words, but when you believe in that, when you believe in the power of Jesus Christ, there is nothing that cannot be done in your life. And therefore, this afternoon, I'm talking to somebody, and I want you to know that the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you are able to do things that cannot be done by a mere man. You can move a mountain in your life when you believe in Jesus, when you pray in his name. Because Father, God the Father is happy when you pray in, he, in, the, in the name of his son. And there is nothing that cannot be done. And that's what the Bible is saying here uh, in John 14, 13. Whatever you ask in my name, so whatever you ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be granted unto you. Because whenever you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you are saying, I am subscribing to the will of God. I'm agreeing to pray in the will of God. And therefore, whatever you ask in the name of Jesus Christ, he will do. And that the Father will be glorified in the Son. So it is important that you understand there is a name 
that is above all other names. There is a name that has power to heal you. There is a name that has power to redeem you. There is a name that has power to restore you. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. Disciples and apostles, they were able to exorcise demons using the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, this, uh, this evening I'm talking to somebody. Whenever you face a mountain in your life, you need to understand that that mountain can get out of your way when you invoke the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Whenever you are facing troubles in your life, when you realize the power that is in the, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing that you cannot be able to do. Because any time that we pray to God through the name of Jesus Christ, we are submitting to his will and we are saying, God, we know that you cannot be able to do in our, in our own. And therefore this afternoon or this evening, I know that there is someone who is watching me. I want to remind you, whatever you are doing, know that it is possible. Whatever you ask in the name of Jesus Christ, it shall be done. And when it shall be done, God is going to be glorified. Be blessed in Jesus' name.